Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with our top 10 most uncommon tips to save money on a carnival cruise. We're gonna go ahead and hit it. We're gonna get to it. And then at the end, I want y'all to write in the comments, what did you learn that you did not know before? Right. Did we put y'all on to anything? Let's get into it. Tip number one. If you're looking for a cruise and you're at double occupancy, meaning there's guest one and there's guest number two. When you go into there to look for your offers, usually we say go to carnival.com forward slash offers. Go ahead and that's where you're able to put in your VIFP number. You know that very important fun person's yeah, number. Yeah, that's so, me, man. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do not have that number, go ahead and go ahead and register yourself on Convo.com. Once you get that number, they'll start to send you deals immediately. So get your number and then what you'll do is on that screen I told you about Convo.com forward slash offers, Put in guest number one's VIFP number. Look for the selling that you are interested in going on. Look at the deals that they are offering guest number one. Make a mental note. Are they offering a good rate? Are they offering onboard credit? Are they offering just other things that may be attractive to you? Keep note, clear that information out. Use that same screen and put in guest number two's information. Put in that VIFP number. See what deals they have offered to them. See whoever has the better deal. And once you start booking that cruise, use the person with the better deals VIFP number as primary on that booking. It will change the game. We do it all the time. Yes, Sometimes indeed. my deals are better than his. Most of the time, <laughs> his is way better than mine. Yeah. So do it that way. Save you a ton of money. Tip number two, mm -hmm. did y'all know that Carnival Cruise has an actual wine package, man? Mm -hmm. I know we know about the infamous Cheers, Cheers package, package, but they actually have one for the wine. As you can see, these are the prices up on the screen. So you might want to definitely look into that if you are an avid wine drinker and you know you like to buy bottles of wine while you're on ship. This could possibly save you some money, man. And then also keep in mind that you cannot buy this package online, they, they actually got it hidden from us, yeah. for real, for real. They got it hidden, so you actually have to call Carnival in order to buy this package. Tip number three. Now, this is for people that do not have a problem with gambling. If you have a problem with gambling, go and seek some help. If you're against <laughs> gambling, then this, this tip is not for you. But the tip that I'm about to give you is, once you are on board, go ahead and put your sign and sell card into one of those slot machines. Find a, a amount of money in your heart <laughs> that you are willing to lose, not win, because gambling means that you could lose. So for instance, you have $20 that you're just willing to piss away. Go ahead and add that $20 onto your sale and sign card as something that you're willing to gamble while you're on in the casino. What that does is it now enters you into Carnival's Players Club database yeah. so that they can start to send you casino deals into your email. So you know how you get those um, those deals from Carnival already? Like, hey, we get ready to do a deal. Memorial Day deal, Valentine's Day deal. No, they're gonna start sending you Players Club deals. Yeah. That's when you get into the nitty gritty. $1 cruises, $25 cabins, onboard credit to use in a casino, free drinks, things like that. So go ahead and do that. That's another way to trick out the system so that you'll just get deals from this way and get deals from this way. Yeah. Tip number four, y'all. For those of us that cannot disconnect from social media while we on a cruise ship, you want to think about possibly pre-buying your Wi-Fi package because you can save up to 20% from the price you pay once you get on the boat. So if that's you, consider doing that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number five, and this is for people that want to be a little bit more economical and they want the benefits of having an outside cabin, but the budget of an inside cabin. Yeah. You can have the best of both worlds. Go ahead and book you 
a porthole room or what they call a 4J category room. What that is, is of course, porthole speaks for itself. It's a porthole where it's usually a double porthole where you're able to see outside. So you have some sense of direction and what's going on on the outside. It's just not the big picture window. 4J category cabins have the big picture window. They are usually located at the very front of the ship and they are facing the front walkway of the ship. No one is ever out there. <laughs> it's very quiet and you get you get a great view of the front of the ship at the price of an inside cabin. All right, y'all, tip number six. If you are a water drinker, I you advise, yeah, <laughs> I advise you to pre-buy the 12 pack of water before you get on the ship, which is at this point is only $4.95 because y'all know that big bottle of water that be in your room. If I'm not mistaken, I think that water is like, it's either $4.95 or $5.95. A five, yeah, something like that. So for less than that cost, you can get you 12 bottles, man. So definitely pre-buy pre -buy your water before you get on a cruise if you want to save money on water. Absolutely. Tip number seven. There are so many ways that you can book a cruise, right? But what if you book your cruise and then later on you see that, oh, the rate went down, but I already booked it at such and such price. The price has gone down. Did you know that on certain cruise rates, you can actually have them price match that amount. So for instance, if your current cruise is at $7.99 and then you see it went down to $6.99, that's a difference of $100. Mm -hmm. What you can do is you can submit a price match guarantee form online at Carnival. And if when they verify that that is the truth, they'll go ahead and credit you $100 as an onboard credit that you can spend while you're on board. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Another tip that goes along with this tip is you have to continue to look to make sure that those rates are changing. A great day to do that is on Tuesdays. Yeah. But if you're not a person that's gonna keep up with things like that, get you a travel agent. That's their job. That's what they're gonna do. And you don't have to do anything. Matter of fact, they'll just send you an email or send you a text and be like, just saved you $100, have a great day. Tip number eight, which is one of my personal favorites and a lot of people don't know that it exists, the Fly to the Fun program. Carnival has a program that they have teamed up with the major airlines and they can give you flights to and from your cruise port at a discounted rate. Yeah. And what I love about it is, usually you don't have to pay extra to select your seats when you do this through Carnival's Fly to Fun. So what happens is you book your cruise, you go to categories at the top left corner at this moment, scroll down, Fly to Fun is right there. It will pre-populate the information based off of your home location and where, where the port is that you're going to. You can fly in a day before, or the day of. You can also do it for your departure flight. Go ahead and, and but you can't go a day late on that one. They want your <laughs> tail to go home the day that your cruise ends. But, the, but on arrivals, you can come in a day early. The reason that I love this program so much is for this particular reason right here. We know that you should, listen to me when I say this, should <laughs> fly in a day before your cruise. It is not always possible right. to fly in a day before your cruise, especially if your cruise is leaving out on a Saturday. People like me, I fly out the morning of my cruise. Yeah. <laughs> but this is th this is where it gets real juicy at for me. Yeah. Carnival has a guarantee. And let me read you what this guarantee is because I don't want y'all to think I'm making it up. This is right from their website. Carnival's Fly to the Fun has travel protection pro um, travel protection built into the price. And the price is usually way cheaper than what you're gonna get on Expedia, any of that. So let's go ahead and say that. You can change your flights how many times you need to up to 60 days before you fly out. No penalty, no charge. Then here's 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 where we get good with it. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. You're covered for all weather related cases and conditions where your flight changes or delays your arrival to the cruise port. Carnival Cruises will get you to the next port of call and also take care of your lodging for the price that you paid 
for your cruise. I mean, for your um flights. Wow. So you have that added extra layer of protection, protection. Yeah. that if anything were to go wrong related to weather or anything that happens at the airport. Now, will it cover these people that's just not showing up to work? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they are responsible to get you to that next port of call so that you can catch that ship and have fun on your cruise. So if there is no viable way to get you to that next port of call, for instance, you may not have a passport, so they can't fly you to Ocho Rios, Jamaica, because you don't qualify to be flown over there. What they'll do is no laws. We'll take all of this money and put it on your account as a future cruise credit. You can't okay. beat it. That, this That's is why I right there. That's excellent. This is why this is my favorite thing. Even if I don't use it for my departure flights, I always use Fly to Fun when I fly out. Tip number nine, y'all. Now, this one might be a little controversial for those of y'all that are over packers. I used to be. Yeah, and we used to be. We was guilty, so we're not judging you, but we are recommending to you to try carry on only. And the way that that'll save you money, first, it will save you money on check bags if you're gonna fly. And then number two, y'all know when we go on vacation, we buy a bunch of booze kit <laughs> that we bring back that we can barely fit in our luggage and spending all this extra money for no reason. So if you know that you ain't got room in your bag for it, you, you ain't gonna buy, gonna buy it. Yeah, carry on is gonna save you a lot of money. Tip number 10. And this is for my avid travelers, specifically our avid cruisers. Look into maybe becoming a travel agent. Travel agents get crazy, insane deals when it comes to cruising. And if you are a person that is very organized, that person that your family always comes to when it's time to book a cruise, how do I do this? How do I do that? Let me give you my card number. Let me, you're doing it anyway. Right. Go ahead and start getting paid for your time and your pain. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes, you can even get free cruises out of the deal. So go ahead and see if that option is even appealing to you. You can become a travel agent and let your cruises pay for themselves. If you a person who like to buy pictures on a of a cruise, you <laughs> already know that if you, they take some really good pictures. Yeah, they do. And when you go to that little dash over there, I can't remember what floor is it on right now, <laughs> but it's on the same floor that's always on. But you know you can easily spend three, four, five hundred dollars in some pictures. For no reason. So it's best to pre-buy some pictures before you go on the cruise. They have a package that's like nine ninety nine. I think you get like five eight by tens or something like that. Nine and nine, nine and We are well, not what well, a hundred dollars. I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just say for a hundred dollars you get like five pictures. They like eight. They like, I think like eight by tens or yeah, something like that. Yeah, they're the big ones. Yeah. So you get the big ones. So if you go on pictures, you want to do that. If not. Hey man, they're gonna stick you in the butt with them pictures, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> so pre buy them. So I hope y'all, man, we hope y'all enjoyed those tips. Cause one of the things that's about all of us as human beings, we love to save time and we love to save money. So we hope that these tips are gonna save you some money on your next carnival cruise, man. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure yeah. you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up. And like I said in the beginning, let us know if you learned anything new. Right. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two, Two down. down. Holla! Holla.